getting towed. Ah, ah. So it's not, just bought the car. It's not registered. They literally just bought the I'm car. I'm telling you. Car, See, can, can, can you move for It's not switch plate. Can, yes, it is. It's not switch plate. Sir, can you move? No. You gotta, you gotta move. And now Syracuse police release the body cam leading up to Berkland's actions. You can hear the man sitting on the hood of a vehicle say he just bought it, and the officers reply, but it's not registered. Already, something seems off. Let's go. You gotta get up. Please don't push me. Do you want to get arrested? You gotta get up, man. You gotta get up, man. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not going not you. Yo, take them off yourself, stop. Well, that's same with us. Oh, stop. stop. What is y'all doing? Y'all doing action. Stop. Y'all doing action. Put your hands right back. Stop. Hey, yo. Stop. 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 Let it go. Let it go. They literally, yo, they're literally doing action. Hold on, man. Can you not? Put your hands on your back. Bro, can you not? Put your hands behind your back. Go ahead. You want to get tased? Put your hands behind your back. What? You want to get tased? Then put your hands behind your back. The officers get physical with this man and threatened to tase him. No, let him go! They said it's our do nothing! Jimmy get on the sidewalk. No, don't you can hear a child screaming out. The man being arrested didn't do anything, which it appears body cam proves to be accurate. Emotions are running high with those continually oppressed throughout this country. Then, Berkland pulls the ultimate power move. Say it! Say it! Say, say what? Face. I'll say it to your face. Yo, 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 And I got you off camera. And I got you off camera. Let's go with you, bro. Yo, let's go. You got him. Let's go. After being called an anti-gay slur, Berklin takes it to a whole nother level, getting in this man's face and pushing him. One could reasonably ponder, this is not in the best practices of de-escalation tactics. The Syracuse Police Department decided to do very little in response, suspending him for a measly 15 days. Police Chief Kenton Buckner placed him on administrative leave. Per Syracuse.com, two other officers, Joseph Murray and Connor Niffen, have received a written reprimand for their actions. Buckner also spoke to Sergeant Paul Larkin, a supervisor who did not respond to the scene. The officers were issued said written reprimands for not reporting the use of force. Buckner said he also had a discussion with a supervising sergeant who was not on the scene at the time of the incident. Pull away. Do you understand me? What? Really? What are you doing? Chill out, dude. What are you doing? Bring up over here. The Denver Police Department is currently facing a lawsuit stemming from video via one of their officers. Okay. What, the f what are you doing? Stepping to me? Huh? What the? F is it my face? What Don't think so, dude. It appears Denver police escalate the situation, place the man suing in cuffs to potentially allow themselves to search. Oh, what, what, what am I? What, what, what are you stopping the cops for, man? I did not ask you to get no, out of my I car. No, I watched you. I got you on my video camera. I asked you to get out of my car. That's it. You're being an asshole to everybody. I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm probation. I'm sure uh, I'm not on probation. probation officer's gonna love that. I'm not on probation at all. Where Keelan Hill has a problem is here. The Denver police officer started searching Hill's car. What I don't appreciate among many things in this video is the video which was obtained by the Denver Post. Police don't have the audio of their body cameras on. They keep flicking it on and off. Why are they allowed to do this? And it continues to befuddle many, including myself. Just tell me if you have any injuries. I'm telling you that it's hard for me to determine that at the moment. I will have to be able to I go to the hospital after I am released from the house custody. What is your name? My name is Keon. Okay, it Keon. It's hard for me to determine if I'm injured at the moment. If you're not injured from my officer. Sir, I, it is hard for me to determine that at the moment. I have to go to the hospital. For what? 
I just had a car wreck. I was just stabbed in the neck. I didn't ask you about the car wreck. I asked you if my officer sir, hurt you. Sir, I called y'all about, I called y'all about this car wreck that just happened. I was arrested and detained because of it. I called y'all because I was injured. From and the, what did I just ask you? I don't know where, who injured me or what injured me. Don't I, get in I, my face. Was that necessary? Was any of these officers' actions necessary? This does not seem extremely difficult, but here's what happens next. I can, I can hear I you. I don't know who injured me or what injured me. I know I sustained some sort of injury. What? I'm, sir, I cannot determine that until I go to it. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Hill pleads his case, and the officers do not give a flying you-know-what. Does your car have a cane? Uh, okay. He's, we gotta do paper on okay. so we're done. We're so done. Which car do you want to put him in? I'm literally telling y'all that I haven't... Which car do you want to put him in? Grab a seat. Grab a seat. Thank you. Put your feet in. Put your feet in. Put your feet in the car. I already talked to you, didn't I? Grab a seat. Put your feet in. I told you that I'm. Look, I'm just trying to go home. Someone hit my car, and y'all are taking me to jail. Like, come on, dude. I'd really like to not transport him in my car. I don't have a cage. Just bring him to T.O. and we'll just have to put him in one of those cells right there until we can do paperwork. Follow him and go down to T.O. and put him in one of the cells. Lots to unpack. Let's discuss. Nine News, an NBC affiliate in Denver, wrote a lawsuit filed in U.S. District Court accuses Denver police of using force while unlawfully arresting a man and detaining him in retaliation for exercising his First Amendment rights. The lawsuit filed on behalf of Keelan Hill names Denver Police Department Corporal Bart Stark and officers Thomas Ludwig and Gary Yampolsky, as well as the city and county of Denver. All three officers' body cameras recorded portions of the encounter. The problem was the officer who searched Hill's car raised the tension because he did not investigate, rather just took one party's word for it. You can right here knock this plate off and put a dent in the front. Her. Yep. Hey, Gary, I need to get his ID, bro. Sorry. I didn't get his ID, dude. So he tries to thread the needle between two lanes, dude, and he side swipes, side swipes and yeah. he's being a dick. Does he say they jumped out on him like he's gonna fight him or something? I haven't talked to him yet because uh, fire was all around him, but I haven't got his ID yet. He looks like a turd. The officer carries the white guy's water and uses profanities, even calling Mr. Hill a turd. 